musical guest this morning is no stranger to our Expresso Studios. She's brought some of her amazing tracks to us time and time again. But this time, Louise Carver is here to talk about another campaign that's very close to her heart. So let's chat to the beautiful lady herself, Miss Louise Carver. Good morning and Hi. welcome back to Expresso. Thank you very much. I almost, I almost want to say welcome back home. <laughs> it feels like <laughs> it. It does, yeah. right? It's good. So the last time you were here, you brought us um, some of the tracks from your amazing album, Say It To My Face. How's that been doing? What's the response been like? It's been a really, really good response. I never do the same album twice. Yeah. So to take fans on another journey with me and have it be so embraced was very exciting. It's a lot more electronic than the music I've done in the past. Yeah. Um, and one of the songs, which I did with JR, You Think You Got It Easy, I performed mm. it the last time I was here, yes. has just been licensed to Russia. Oh my so God. I think for me, it's been my most successful album in terms of international today. That's so fantastic. Yeah. That's you. wonderful. But we are here now to talk about a campaign that's quite close to your heart, and it's called the Fur Free Campaign. Tell us more about that. I've been involved with Fur Free for about five years. A lot of Fs there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for this time of the morning. Yeah. Um, I was introduced um, to the campaign not knowing anything about it and not knowing things like dogs and cats are anything. used to make this fur. Often it's wow. uh, called faux fur yeah. and used for trimming on gloves and on boots. And they wow. color it. And so uh, they can't detect it when it comes into the country to know that it is actually the real deal. Yeah. Um, the conditions that these animals are kept in, particularly in China, where thousands are killed every day and just yeah. kept in um, very badly ventilated, small, dark places. These are our pets mm. that we're talking mm. about. Mm. Um, so I had to get involved because I'm such a huge animal lover. I, I know, and I think sometimes, you know, you always think that it's out there. You think that it's maybe seals, it's got nothing to do with us. But, I mean, mm. you've got a pet yourself. I've got two. Exactly. So what exactly does this mean? Knowing, I mean, when I look at Bob and Bella, and I just think, you know, imagine that they were involved in something like that. What does it mean to you knowing that you've got these two amazing pets? Um, uh, you know, the danger that our pets have every day because they're using dogs, they're using cats for fur. Um, for me, the capacity for a dog to love um, and to protect is more than most humans could, yeah. could give uh, unconditionally. Um, so you just have to look into your pet's eyes and then it's not far away at all. Mm -hmm. It's right there. Um, and we have to bring people's attention to it because most people um, would be absolutely... Um, disgusted by this, but we don't know about it. Yeah. So the job of what you guys are doing on Expresso and yeah. Top Billing later in the month is so, so important. So the message that we're trying to say, there are 10 celebrities that are involved in this, mm -hmm. uh, including some of your own yes, <laughs> people Nilana's on the show, there, yeah. exactly, um, is to say, even if it's faux fur, we're saying discourage that mm -hmm. the fur is not a fashion statement. It's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. Um, and to not even be involved in buying anything that you even think is yeah. faux fur. I mean, how could you? I mean, look at these two oh. little cuties. Tell us more about <laughs> them. Who, who, who are they? Introduce us to them. This is um, Fern over here. Fern. Um, I call her an uh, African pygmy wild dog <laughs> <laughs> because we don't actually know what she is. Okay, all right. Um, I rescued her from the Santon SPCA about four years ago. Um, and she is an incredible, manipulating, beautiful little doggy. She can fake any injury. Really? Um, when she's done something wrong, <laughs> she suddenly rolls on her back and fakes a sore paw. I mean, I think oh, that is I love brilliant. Her already. Yeah. <laughs> and then Elvis is nine. Um, he was my first. He is my first gentleman. Um, Scottish Terrier. They're yeah. not uh, for everybody. Yeah. They are very much their own people, and they don't like to be cuddled. Yeah. Um, but he has got massive personality. So they are my family members. Yeah. I adore them. Wow. Now this is this brings it home for me. Because because when you see how real the situation is, how could anyone actually be cruel to an animal just so that they could look good during winter? Um, of course, if anybody wants to find out more, you can go to www.furfree.net for more on this amazing initiative. And of course, the 27th of May, the Fur Free Fashion yeah. uh, Extravaganza is going to be happening where Louise and Katz and Ilana are just part of 10 celebrities who are going to be taking part to highlight this cause. Thank you so much for everything that you're doing. But you're bringing us new music yes. and never be a never before heard <laughs> song on the show as well. I think I'm crazy. I, no, you're I, not. I, it's, <laughs> it's such a beautiful song. Um, yeah. It's called 400 Miles. And it started with me judging a songwriting competition. Yeah. And uh, the winner, I chose the lyrics. And um, the job of what I had to do was create into a song. Yeah. When we finished and it was uh, produced, um, I thought the song had to go on my new album. It wasn't meant for my album. And what's 
transpired is that it's my favorite of the album. It's a yeah. slow song to follow after You Think You Got It Easy. So wow. I'll be following that later with the brand new music video hey. uh, produced by Greenwall Productions. And if you know who Greenwall Productions is, yeah. the key member is Nikki Greenwall, who's my oldest wow. friend. So it's come full circle for me. So it's a very personal project. Ah, oh, that's incredible. Well, we will be hearing more from Louise Carver with 400 miles and also time is a healer. Can't wait for that. Ewan, I'm sure you're just like jumping out of your skin right now. <laughs> Many South African celebrities pledge to go fur-free. Will you do the same? Wear your own skin. Visit furfree.net.